is that fair? Well, first of all, the priority for me was making sure that families who were worried about this winter had a guarantee yeah. that their bills would not go up beyond £2,500. That was very important. People were worried about struggling through the winter. Businesses were worried about going under. So I was determined that we took bold action to deal with that. <coughs> that will cost money. Uh, that will cost money. It costs the taxpayer money, won't it? It will cost. It will cost the government money. But what we it are doing, the taxpayer what money. we are doing, is writing the difficulties we had in the past by making sure that we're investing in our long-term energy supply because we should have invested in it 20 years and, ago. And we you didn't. are doing a long term. And this is why nuclear is important. It's why it's important we're using resources in the North Sea. It's why it's important we're entering to long-term supply agreements that we should have done before. And but what I wouldn't allow, strategy. what I wouldn't allow, is for the burden to fall on people and businesses at this very you, difficult time. But, but Prime Minister, just to be clear, and it, and it, you know, ideologically could be a valid point. And ultimately, you would rather the taxpayer will have to foot this bill ultimately, not business. That's I think correct, isn't it? I think it's worth saying though. And the chance, that, can you the just acknowledge the, that, that ultimately we do pay in the end? Well, I, what the Chancellor will be outlining on Friday is exactly how this will be paid for. But I think it's important to say that the impact of the announcement we've already made will be reducing inflation. So okay. it's likely to reduce inflation by five points. Yes. It's likely to increase economic growth. And, and we're also entering long-term supply agreements to mitigate the cost. So the cost to the taxpayer is not what has been projected. I think that's very important to understand. But so it's I not will, 150 billion. It's well, not 100 billion. The chance billion. will be laying it out in more detail. But, you're but the saying cost it's is under mitigated. 100 billion, under 100 billion. The cost is mis mitigated. First of all, by the overall benefits to the okay. economy, but also the fact that we are now investing in the long term just, supply. Just on this quickly, uh, Labour's policy uh, to tax the energy companies is supported by 68% of the public according to polls. You're prepared to be unpopular, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. What is important to me is that we grow the British economy because that is what will ultimately deliver higher wages, more investment in towns and cities across the country. That is what will ultimately deliver more money into people's pockets and it will also enable us to fund the public services like the National Health Service. And in order to get that economic growth, Britain has to be competitive. And if we put up taxes, mm. if we have arbitrary taxes on energy companies, if we have high corporation tax, we're not going to get that investment and growth which will ultimately damage damage opportunities in this country and okay. that's what I'm bothered about. What I care about is are there those jobs there okay. in the future, those high paid jobs, industries like technology, industries like energy, that's what Prime is motivating me. Prime Minister, just let's go on to another policy then, tax cuts. You're planning to reverse the corporation tax cut rise, you're scrapping national insurance increases, a big boost to big business and a tax cut that disproportionately benefits rich people in this country. Is that fair? I don't accept this argument that cutting taxes is somehow unfair. I mean, what, what we know is people on higher incomes generally pay more tax. So when you reduce taxes, you know, there is often a disproportionate benefit because those people are paying more taxes in the first place. We should be setting our tax policy on the basis of what is going to help our country become successful, what is going to deliver that economy that benefits everybody in our country. And what, what I don't accept is the idea that tax cuts on business don't help people in general. Of course they help people in general because we want businesses to be more productive, we want more investment, and that ultimately means so jobs your, and growth and opportunities right across our but country. But this, this is quite a, diff, a, a shift in policy in terms of what's come before. What you're saying is you're happy for the rich to get richer if it grows the economy and if that makes you very politically unpopular with the wider public. You, 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 you will do that as Prime Minister. Well, what I That's believe, what, about. What, what the people I speak to, and I've done a lot of travelling uh, around the country over the past few months, what people care about is in the town or city I live in, 
Are there jobs and opportunities? Are there new businesses investing? Does my high street look better than it used to look? You know, are roads being built? Can I get a mobile phone signal? That's what people care about, and that is what I am absolutely focused on delivering. And they I'm care prepared. About fairness as well. No, they don't I know. am prepared. They, they do care about fairness, Prime Minister, as well. They, and they might not think it's do. fair that their children have to fund uh, government debt to fund, say, uh, tax cuts for big business or energy bills, and then they ultimately pick up the bill all their children do, all their children's children. They'll think it's not fair. You well, understand that. You can disagree with that, but you understand well, that's that a, point. That's a particular point of view you're expressing, which is what people on the left of politics often express. What I'm saying is that by keeping taxes low and growing the economy, we will get more tax revenues in. And actually, that will succeed. That will succeed in the long term in bringing the opportunities that people want to see. That's, that's 68 percent of the public think there should be a windfall tax. So it's not necessarily the left. It's a large proportion of, of voters that like a policy that you're not backing. Just to point that out to you. Um, just in terms of no windfall tax, reverse incorporation tax, bankers' bonus cap being dropped. You said the city was the crown jewel of the British economy. You want to drop caps on bankers' bonuses to attract investment to the city. Again, a deeply unpopular policy, but one you're prepared to take because you believe it will grow the economy. Well, what I know is that there are tens of billions of investment that are ready to go into businesses right across the country, into manufacturing businesses into the north of England, you know, life sciences industry. And what we need to do is get that investment from the city of London right across our country. And yes, I am prepared to take the measures and change the rules, and the Chancellor is prepared to do that in order to get that investment, because the priority is getting investment into manufacturing industry. One of the reasons that we have relatively low growth in this mm. country is we haven't had enough capital investment. And yet we have you know, one of the world's best financial services centres. So what I want to see is that money in the city of London put to good use across our country. Okay. And yes, I'm, I'm prepared to do what it takes I'm, to I'm, get that money I'm, I'm flowing. Out to, just one other thing, Prime Minister. Do you recognise that this set of policies could be an electoral suicide note for you with the public? that they will see a Prime Minister who is on the side of big business and bankers and not on the side of working people? What I think working people will judge me and my government on at the next election is, have I got a good job? Are my wages going up? Have I seen improvements in my town or my city? It, has the road been built? Can I get a mobile signal? Do I am I getting a GP? Society? Am I getting a GP appointment uh, as quickly as I can? That's what people care about, and that's what I believe people will vote on. Just final quick question: interest rate rise later this week, potentially a decision being taken by the Bank of England. I know it's nothing to do with you; they set the rate. What's your message to people out there that will be watching this, who are desperately worried about? rising mortgage bills and interest rate rises. It's going to be a rough winter, isn't it? We are in very difficult economic times. We're facing Putin's war in Ukraine, which has pushed up the prices of energy. We've also got the aftermath of COVID. I'm determined that my government takes every step and strains every sinew to help people, to get the economy going, to make sure that we have a successful economy and country that can weather this very, very difficult storm that we're facing. Rough winter, we get through it. We will get through it. Okay, Prime Minister, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank, thank you. you.